All right, so we have the integral of the square root of 1 plus sine x. Before we do this integral, let's try to simplify it into a more easier form by multiplying it with another term here. So, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll write this as the integral of the square root of 1 plus sine x. Now, I'm going to multiply this by the square root of 1 minus sine x both the numerator and the denominator of course and this does not change the meaning of the original integral because this can cancel as well but this is a little bit helpful because it's going to help us to create a function and a derivative let me show you how so this now becomes the integral of the square root these are two square roots so they can multiply together one plus sine x and 1 minus sine x, right? All this divided by the square root of 1 minus sine x. So this becomes the integral. On top here, inside the square root, you can actually see there is a difference of two squares. Let's say dx here. So inside here, we have the square root of 1 minus sine squared x, right? The difference of two squares. Down we have the square root of 1 minus sine x. I'll go with respect to x. So, of course, you know from the first trigonometric identity of Pythagoras theorem that if I have sine squared x plus cos squared x, this is 1. So, that means cos squared x is actually 1 minus sine squared x so i'm going to substitute for this inside the square root uh, so i write now the square root of cos squared x right divide by the square root of 1 minus sine x i cannot substitute for the denominator because this is sine x not sine squared all right dx okay so this is now cos x divided by the square root of 1 minus sine x dx. And this is beautiful, isn't it? Because we have 1 minus sine x and the derivative of 1 minus sine x involves cos x. So we have a function and a derivative. So we can use the u substitution method now. So let me go ahead now and do that. I will let u to be 1 minus sine x right so du over dx is going to be negative cosine of x let's have more space here all right so it's now the integral maybe just to separate this okay nice so now this is the integral of cosine of x divided by this is the square root of u because everything inside the square root we let it to be u instead of writing dx i'm going to write du over negative cos x but the negative i can put it outside here so i have du over cos x and of course the cos and the cos can cancel out so i finally have the negative integral of 1 over the square root of u with respect to u this is negative the integral of u to the power what's that power that's negative one half du which gives us negative okay so i add one to this that will become a two okay let me just show you everything so that's u to the power one half because if I add 1 to negative 1 half, so I get that, divide by 1 half, then plus a constant, which, so finally we have, not really the last step, but we have 2 square root of u plus c, but we know what this, uh, we know what u is, u is 1 minus sine x, so I put that back, now we have negative 2 times the square root of 1 minus sine x, then plus a constant so that's our final solution to the integral all right so thanks for watching this video if you like the video 
uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this i upload content every day and uh, i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching